Good morning, Canada. Welcome to another episode of RCTV. I'm here with my good buddy and co-host, Jeremy. Thanks, Nick. This week, we've got the Ontario Mayhem Bash. And where else are we headed? We're also going to see some BC scale boats. And we have a double whammy in Calgary. We have fast electric boats and some competition scale crawlers. Here you go. RCTV, your radio controlled authority. Presented by RC Pitstop. Bringing the best of RC to BC. 1989, John's Hobby, Toronto's local hobby store, and PM Hobbycraft. With all the bashing, crashing, flying, and driving you can handle. Now let's get ready to RC. Hi, I'm Doug Pepperdine. We're here at uh, Elliston Parks on a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sunny day. Excellent water conditions. You know, we're ready to race some nitro boats and some electric boats. We've got the GoPro cameras. Yeah, it's going to be a great day. You know, it's going to be hard to beat the last time we did this, but uh, we're sure going to try. So we're here with Doug, and uh, he's going to tell us a little bit about the, uh, this exciting new class of boats. Yes, uh, this is a new one to me. I've run Nitro for uh, 30 years, and I just finally decided to break down and try an uh, electric boat. And uh, the Acrocraft boat uh, finally met some of my expectations. Uh, it's got aluminum uh, hardware, uh, none of the plastic stuff on some of the earlier boats, and with a few modifications, which they were fairly simple, and it runs really well, considering. Yeah. But as a stock boat, I think it's uh, quite a good little boat for anybody to start with and be very competitive. So Ben, we were just talking to your dad about this very interesting Alcocraft boat. <laughs> it's a whole new experience. Yeah. Yeah. No, the uh, the electrics with the throttle capabilities are a whole new dimension uh, to racing. I've never driven a high-performance electric boat myself, yeah. but I have seen a lot of them go, and I've seen a lot of the, uh, the nitro-powered boat. Mm -hmm. When you launch, uh, an electric, is it different than the gas? Yeah, you just have to plop the electric right in just as long as it's facing the right way. Makes it a little easier, right? <laughs> it's yeah. a lot easier on me. Here's another example of a very cool scale looking boat that you can pick up at you know your local hobby shop. You know, it's a postcard boat, it even sounds a little bit scale. It's pretty cool. One of the great things about this hobby and a lot of the hobbies around is that you can stop by your local RC park or boat pond or airplane field and there's more than enough people that will help you out, answer questions with uh, whatever you want to know. They're always there willing to help you out. So Anthony, you're not the only member. I understand your wife's here as well. My wife is here too. She is the first member, uh, female member of uh, Nambo 16 so it's a great excitement and she's a lot better than I am at it. Yeah, this is the uh, the Aquaquat uh, Rescue 17 with shooting cannons, and it does have full reverse, and it is up to scale. So it's not a speedboat, but it is a different class, you know, what we call a scale class. This is the uh, the barbed wire from Atomic, probably about 20 miles an hour, and if you do flip it over, Doug, it comes right back up comes again, right back up, right up back to shore. So great for the beginners. The next one is the Atlantic Yacht from Kyosho. Look at that! It is actually real wood, laser etched, and everything. And the next one over, the Traxxas Spartan, uh, and a class in its own. And where you are using it has a speedboat here at the, in Namba 16. It's kind of nice, you know, you can stop in your local hobby shop, and uh, most of the reputable shops should carry a lot of the stuff from these, uh, from these brands. So, uh, you know, they should be able to hook you up wherever you are. We're here with Brian. He's going to tell us a little about his uh, very special electric boat. I've had it on uh, good authority that it's crazy fast. Yeah. It's a converted nitro boat, Sport 40, 0.45 cc size of boat. I converted it to electric pretty much a test bed because I'm building an eight scale. So I had to add a couple of waterproof bulkheads yep. in the end, and it's a Castle 1527 1.5D, 2.6S in parallel. How fast does this go, Brian? Uh, I think we get it to 70, I think, no problem. 70 miles an hour? Yeah. But they are going faster. There's Sport 40s doing 100.
So Brian, tell us a little bit about this boat. It's a um, 1982 Squire shop. It's a uh, eight scale. And the actual boat is a wooden kit scratch built from the original plans by Keith Warham. Um, he's a master boat builder. It's just a beautiful thing. Brian, let's get her in the water. Absolutely. See how she goes. I'm going to fuel her up. It'll be a couple minutes, but we'll get her going. Sounds good. <laughs> Well, it's been a wonderful day down here with the Calgary Model Boat Racing Association. Beautiful day at Ellison Park. We've seen some really cool boats, you know, had a little bit of fun at the same time. It's been a great day. Thank you very much for watching.